Hey there, Royal folks. This is Ben. Welcome back to Untold Royal Secrets, where we unravel the juiciest Royal Secrets and expose the controversial truths that the media doesn't want you guys to know. So, ladies and gentlemen, I want to talk to you today about the recent Invictus Games event featuring Meghan Markle, a topic that has caused quite the stare online. Now, before I dive into the controversy, let's make one thing clear. Meghan Markle is no stranger to the spotlight, and she's known for her strong opinions and her ability to divide public opinion. But what happened at the Invictus Games in Germany is truly remarkable. Now, I know you guys are super excited to hear more about this, but before we move on to any further details, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, guys, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button now, and don't forget to press the all-important bell icon so, first of all, let's address the elephant in the room. The lack of proper recording and coverage of Meghan's speech is astonishing that an event of this magnitude featuring a prominent figure like Meghan lacked professional recording. The audio quality was abysmal, making it nearly impossible for anyone in the audience or watching online to hear her words clearly. This raises the question, why would Meghan even bother giving a speech if she knew it wouldn't be properly recorded? Now, let's talk about Meghan and Harry's public display of affection, or should I say the lack thereof. We've seen them in the past hugging kissing and holding hands, betraying themselves as a deeply in love couple. But this time, there was a stark contrast. Meghan and Harry stood at a noticeable distance from each other, with no touching or physical affection. Throughout Meghan's speech, it's as if they were two strangers forced to share the stage. Now, speaking of Meghan's speech, it's important to note that she was late to the event, and her apology for being tardy seemed rather unnecessary. It's not like the crowd was eagerly awaiting her arrival. This raises suspicions about her intentions. Was she trying to create a grand entrance to promote herself as an important figure? Another perplexing moment during Meghan's speech was when she mentioned that her children. It's common for public figures to maintain a degree of privacy regarding their family life, but Meghan chose to mention her kids, even going as far to say as they had to put them to bed before attending the event. Why is she trying so hard to convince us that her family life is normal? As normal as anyone else's, basically. It almost feels as if she's overcompensating for something. But here's the most astonishing part of it all. Meghan's brief stopover in the UK before coming to Germany. She spent a mere few minutes there, showing res no respect or tribute to the Queen. A stark contrast to her lavish stay at the five-star hotel in Germany. What message is she sending? That she's too important to spend time in the UK, but eager to flaunt her importance in Germany? Finally, let's analyse... Harry's body language during Meghan's speech, he appeared defensive with his body language, suggesting that he wanted Meghan to finish her speech as quickly as possible. This is further reinforced by the fact that he didn't introduce Meghan to the stage. He was called to join her. It's as if he knew Meghan would make all the event about herself and he wanted to distance himself from that narrative. So what's your take on all this, guys? Let me know what you think in the comments. That's all for today's news. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.